In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an automated webinar on the JVZoo platform. So to get started, you'll need to go up to the Sellers tab, then go down to Automated Webinars, and then click on Set Up Automated Webinars. Then you'll see this page right here, and any automated webinars that you've set up in the past will be right here. Now, to get started, you'll need to click on Create a Webinar, but I've already gone ahead and taken the liberty of creating one for you. So I'm going to use that one for this example. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on edit. OK, and here's how you set this up. The first thing is you need to have your webinar in a video format that's in MP4 format. The format has to be in MP4. That could be a YouTube video or it can be even a self-hosted video, but it has to be in MP4 format. The next step is to put in the title that's going to be used in the email follow ups and then to put in the registration page headline. Now, these are adjustable so you can see everything that's going on in that box as well. Next, you'll need to come down and select the product from your drop down area right here. And let me say this, that these products are not available for sale. These are only used for demonstration purposes. So you want to select the product and then you want to select your product delay time. Now, what is this used for? Basically, you want to put in where the buy button is going to appear, which is generally around where you're making your pitch in your webinar. So in this case, I have it set to 30 minutes, but wherever that is, you can set that for hours or minutes or combination of them, even right down to seconds over here. OK, just like that. Now, let's say if you had maybe a payment plan option that you wanted to introduce later in the webinar, then you could also come right here, click add more and then choose that product and then select when you want that payment plan option or any other product to appear with the buy button as well. You scroll down, you go to registration topics, and these are the topics that's going to be shown on the registration page. And I'm going ahead and added three right in here, which you'll see how they'll look on the registration page in a moment. OK, but if you want to add more, just go ahead and click right here to add more. And you can also remove any of them by clicking the remove option right here. If you scroll down, you'll need to put in your presenter's name and then your presenter's image URL. Now, this needs to be hosted somewhere online. You will not have the option to upload it right here. So you need to host it on your website or some other site online and then take that image link and put it in right here. And if it's more than one person, that's a presenter. Go ahead and click on add more and then follow the same steps to put their presenter information in here as well. If you have any handouts in PDF format, you'll need to put that link right here. Like say if you promise someone a download, some notes or something like that at the end of the webinar, this is where you want to put that link. Then once you're done, go ahead and click on this box right here to agree to the webinar terms and then go ahead and click on save. Now, once you've clicked on save, this link is where people are going to go to register for your webinar. Now, I'll come back to these options right here, the chat and the registrants. But let me show you what that looks like. So this is the registration page right here. And as you can see, here is our headline. Here is our presenter information as well as right here with our picture. And it even has a countdown option to let them know when the webinar is going to be starting. Now, if we scroll down, we can see all of the registration topics that we put in right here. And then to get started, they'll need to click on register my spot. So let's go ahead and do that and show you what that looks like. So they will need to put their name in just like this and then their email address just like this. Now, here's a cool thing. They can also enter their cell phone number to get a reminder by text of when the webinar is starting. So once they're done, they'll go ahead and click on secure your spot now, and then it'll take them to this page where the webinar will begin and it will have a countdown showing them right here. They can also add it to their calendar right here. So what's going to happen is this is going to finish counting down and then the intro video is going to come on just like this. Okay, and now the webinar will start just like this. Okay, now over here is where they can put their questions in for the chat. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how that works. And then they'll go ahead and click on submit. When they do that, their question will show right here. And then there will be a response that's generated just like this to tell them that they'll try to get an answer during the presentation. But if not, they'll receive an email answer. Now, let me show you how that works. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Let's go back here. OK, I'm going to refresh this. And now if we go into the chat option, every question that was asked 
will be shown right here and we can put an answer in right here and then go ahead and click on email, which will then send an email reply to them. And then we can also save that question as well. Now over here with the registrants, we can click on that and everyone who registered, we can download those leads by clicking right here. We can also choose our start and our end date and then click on run report. And then we'll be able to download those leads just like that. Now, before we end this video, I just want to talk to you about the automated email follow-ups portion as well. So what's going to happen is, is when a person visits the webinar, an affiliate link has a five day automatic email follow-up embedded in it. So what's going to happen is they're going to start to get follow-up reminders about the webinar. Now it's going to stop. If the user makes the purchase, then all of the follow-ups will automatically stop. It also includes a direct link for purchase. If the user watched long enough for the buy buttons to show. Now, if they didn't see the offer, then the five day follow-up commences with the replay, pushing them back to the replay. That is the title is included in the subject and the email, as well as the description is in the email and the replay link is in the email as well, linking back to the referring affiliate. If there is one, also, these emails go out automatically and they help generate more sales for you on autopilot and the emails are sent based upon the action of the attendee. Finally, whatever the webinar landing page is, the product landing page will automatically be the same page as the webinar, thus being overridden. What that means is that whatever product you're selling on the webinar, once you set that webinar up and the landing page for that webinar is set up, that's going to automatically become the landing page for the product as well. Well, that's how you set up an automated webinar within the JVZoo platform.